If you're growing fir Christmas trees, either balsam fir or Fraser fir, there's a chance that you're going to have issues with balsam twig aphid before long. Balsam twig aphid is a native insect. It's co-evolved and adapted very well with balsam fir, but once we started planting Fraser fir up in the north part of the country, balsam twig aphid has moved over and it can be very damaging on those kinds of trees. It's a sap feeding insect. It's a small insect. The kinds of damage you get with it is that you'll see the needles start to curl up. Every place where a little aphid pokes its mouth parts in to suck sap out of the needle, that causes a dead spot in the needle. The needle bends right there. And as you start to accumulate a lot of these little dead spots, the needles curl. You're not gonna get nearly as long of a needle. Needle length will be smaller. The area of foliage will be smaller, which means photosynthesis is gonna be reduced. Your tree overall is gonna grow more slowly. Sometimes you get enough aphids that they produce honeydew, which is basically just digested sugar water. It's the sap that's running through the aphids' bodies, and it's very sticky and sweet, and sometimes sooty mold will grow on that, and you'll get a very nasty black mold growing on the needles. Another unpleasant thing is that wasps will be attracted to the sweet, sticky stuff, and if you're out there looking at your trees or trying to shear your trees, you may be fighting off some pretty nasty wasps. In terms of managing balsam twig aphid, you need to know just a bit about the biology. It's an insect that has a very complicated life cycle. There's actually four different generations it goes through in a given summer. The two that you need to know the most about, one is called the stem mothers, and that's the generation that matures early in the spring. They don't really do much damage. You might see them, they'll be out at the ends of the buds, typically when the, the bud cap is starting to loosen, the brown papery sheath around the bud is starting to loosen, those buds are starting to swell, you're gonna get the stem mothers out there. Stem mothers are important because they produce the offspring who actually cause the damage. And that second generation of balsam twig aphid are the ones that feed on the new needles, those tender, soft, succulent new needles that are just starting to grow. And they're the, that's the generation that causes the damage. So if you have balsam fir, Fraser fir, if you're within a couple of years of harvesting those trees, you need to probably be paying attention to balsam twig aphid. Now there's a couple things to consider there. One is that the damage occurs relatively early in the summer. By the end of June, that damaging generation of balsam twig aphids is finished. They've gone away. And the needles will keep growing for several more weeks. And so a tree that looks pretty bad in the second or third week of June will sometimes look just fine by the time late summer and fall gets there and you're ready to harvest the trees. Another thing that happens is that there are a lot of predators that love to feed on aphids. If you think about aphids, they're out there, they're fat, they're little morsels of goodness if you're a predatory insect. Lacewings, lots of different kinds of ladybugs, what we call ladybird beetles, um, the, f the immature stage of flower flies, all of those kinds of insects love to feed on balsam twig aphid. And they will clean up a population. They may not eliminate a population in a field, but they will do a good job at keeping it down below damaging levels. If the aphid population gets high, however, and especially if you're close to harvesting those trees, and if you need to use an insecticide, it has to be applied when the stem mothers are active. You don't necessarily want to get it out there too early. It needs to be effective while the stem mothers are moving around and feeding so that they encounter the insecticide, but you really don't want to be too late. And if the second generation of aphids have started to feed, they're fairly well protected inside the new buds and you will have missed your opportunity. So if you're dealing with balsam fir, if you're dealing with Fraser fir, keep an eye on the trees that break bud early in the summer. Those tend to be the trees that the balsam twig aphids are most likely to colonize and they're most likely to do well on those trees. Take a look at them, do some scouting. If you need to control them, it's going to happen very early in the summer. Um, somewhere around the first couple of weeks of April, for example, in the, the Lansing and East Lansing area.